presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to bring in unsupported sources into ProPresenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show that I use to teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever needed to bring something else into ProPresenter that isn't supported, like a live stream from another source or something like that, go ahead. Give me a thumbs up and like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You know all that stuff. So ProPresenter can do a lot. It can bring in all kinds of sources, video sources, audio sources, uh, cameras, etc. But not everything. So what if you have something that needs to come in that's normally not supported? Well we do this. So let's head over to the computer and here we are in ProPresenter. So the first thing that I think when I run into a situation like this is what can ProPresenter do that would bring about what I want it to do? And in this case I'm thinking oh it can bring in either NDI network device interface video sources or it can bring in siphon video sources. So if you're on a Mac, how do you do the siphon? And if you're on a Mac or Windows, how do you capture for NDI? Well, let's head to my browser here. And if you're on a Mac, this is one thing that you can do. You can do Cam Twist. Now Cam Twist is free software, so you can download it and it will capture a window or even just part of a window as if it was a video source and then ProPresenter would see that as a uh, source that it can um, bring in. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, and by the way CamTwist also does the opposite. It can uh, take in something that is siphon and it can take that and send it to other software that can only see a webcam. So it's kind of virtual webcam software. Also, if we go to ndi.tv slash tools, this is software created by the new tech folk who are behind NDI and it's free. You've got a couple of options here. If you're on a PC, you could go with NDI Screen Capture X HX and that will do it. Um, also, if you are on a Mac, they have something slightly different, and that is NDI Scan Converter right here, and that can do it. So you use either of those pieces of software to capture, and then once you go into uh, ProPresenter, Preferences, and Inputs, then you can click the plus button right here and it will be on the list of things here. So notice that I've got a cam twist source right here. I launched cam twist before we started. So it shows up as if it's a camera. So you can use it just like it's a camera. You could put lower thirds on it live in ProPresenter. And uh, same thing for if you're uh, doing NDI from any source that has NDI. So you just click on that and it becomes a video source. So pretty straightforward. Uh, that's a great way to do it if you've got a, let's say you're getting a live stream from your denomination and it needs to go up during church. Well, you could do it this way. Uh, let's say that um, there's some other unsupported video source or maybe here's a great example maybe your church just got a new website and you want to show the entire website you don't want just a a screen cap of it which is what ProPresenter can do you want to actually interact with it well you can bring it in with either of these options and interact with it on another screen you know click on about the pastor or what have you and so you could do it that way so that's a couple of ways to bring in 
video sources that aren't supported in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you so you can take that class for free, normally a $29 value. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.